And there's a young lady walking down to get a better view of the site. Some of the countryside. And there's white birch trees. Some of the mountain top. We're in the uh, Washington, uh, Mount Washington Valley right now. Typical architecture design. Highways full of cars. This is the Atitash mountain village where we're staying and there are the beautiful mountains in the background and there's the room where Helen and I are occupying is that her in the window there? Nope. those are the ski areas in the background and uh, there's a lift that can be taken up to the top of that hill. Another quick view of our unit. The next morning, Sunday, we're out for a little walk on a trail. On the river trail, beautiful sight. More of the scenery on the site of the river. The riverbed. And it looks like it flows quite a bit more because of this rock wash that we're in. And the beautiful colored hillsides. We're still on the river run. Right in front of us. And then beyond. Beautiful colors. We're on the way to Glenella Falls, and this is what we see. This is the Glenella Falls area. Now standing water. Two of the trail going down to the falls. Did you tell them it was the Ellis Falls? Yeah, and I did. Let's go. There's the beginning of the fall. Glen Ellis Falls is 64 feet, 64 foot drop. We hiked into here to see it. And now Carol will turn. Carol, if you turn around this way, On the way up. Covered bridge I'm walking across right now. I'll get a view of it from the front side in a minute. Covered bridge in Jackson, New Hampshire. And here comes a familiar car site to, oh yeah, that's Helen the driver. Oh, view on the sunny side. A little old fella waving the sun. And here's a big flag. And that's the, whoops, that's the heritage. <laughs> and a bicycle. And the heritage. Nathan Hales, the graveyard. Uh, choo choo train, we just.
been on for about an hour. Sit your train left. Huh? Downtown Portland, Maine. Leaving. This is one of the streets on downtown Portland, Maine. Pretty old city. One of the old spires on one of the streets. We're inside the famous Boone's restaurant. In Portland, Maine. Very, very puzzling city. It's the beautiful lady I'm, <laughs> I met on the street. You wouldn't believe Portland, Maine. It looks a lot like Portland, Oregon. It's older sections, but we got lost. Terrible. We just had look. This is uh, the Portland headlight, the most photographed light in the world. And it's in Maine. We're still in Portland, Maine, but it's called Cape Elizabeth. Cape Elizabeth. We're in Fort Williams. This was once a huge multi-gun turret that pointed towards and over that lighthouse. Beautiful area. There's another lighthouse out on a, uh, looks like a small island, spit. We're in the Atlantic Ocean. Portland headlight. Atlantic seaboard and that is part of the city of Portland in the background, but uh, right at the edge of the seaboard at the moment. These rocks are right at the base. Oh, there's a pretty lady standing there. I think she's coming on to me. Whoops. And we're at the base of the tower right now. Oh, it's really up there, isn't it? Brand new day. And we're on our way to Mount Washington Cog Railway, and we see this train station called Crawford Notch. In New Hampshire. In New Hampshire still. A sight along the roadway and the, the distant mountain range. And I think one of them were going up to the top. Close up of Mount Washington Hotel, built 1896. We're inside. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Del Coronado. The Cog Railway Station. We're at the Cog Railway and we'll be boarding that train in a minute or so where all those people are standing. There he comes. That's the little fella that pushes us up over the mountain. Gearing up. It looks pretty old, I don't know. This is our train. In the pictures of who you thought you were. A view outside our window. The beginning going up.
we're at the top of the world. It's in the distance. And this is what we came up on. Top of the mountain. that now. Good. Now again. Well, now we're on top of the mountain over 6,000 feet. What a ride. Whoa. On our way down. Down we go. Wednesday morning and we're on our way to Montpelier, Montpelier and this is what we see on this uh, scenic highway, highway that we're taking. In the state of Vermont, this is the Vermont capital, built in 1808. Beautiful. It's a real fall day today. See the leaves falling? A historical society building. Capitol Courthouse. We're in the heart of downtown Montpelier and this is one of the sites that we see as we came into the city. A beautiful white church. Close up of the church in Montpelier with a hillside color in the background. These old church buildings right down the street. Did we mention that Montpelier is the capital of Vermont? Yes. There's some more architecture across the street where we just had a delicious lunch. Notburn City Hall, Montpelier. Close of Vermont. Really pretty. Traveling on down through Vermont. We've driven about 270 some miles to Bar Harbor, Maine. And this is the motel where we're staying at. Downtown Bar Harbor. And the water, which we'll get to in a few minutes. Some more distinctive shops. It was one of our first views coming into uh, Bar Harbor. Second view. Bay and its colors. All the way across. This is the Bar Harbor Inn where we're staying and we'll have a dinner tonight in that restaurant that Harold just turned the camera off of. I hope you got a glimpse of it. Here's the bay and into the ocean. Our harbor and an island and the Atlantic Ocean right far way out there. There's a little island out there, a little reef. Another view where we're staying. This it's a rainy day. It certainly is. But we're in Bar Harbor, Maine, where that's where it rains. Well, this is the 21st day in mighty rain, and there's a new little entryway. 
celebrating Halloween, I guess. Interior of the hotel we stayed at, the breakfast area. That's where we had dinner last night. Right there. Mall in Maine. Maine Mall in Maine, October 22nd. This is supposed to be the largest in the... Uh, in Maine. In Maine. Inside. Early in the morning. We're on our way to Boston. We're just passing Kennebunk Port, where the Kennedys have their home on the beach. We are now approaching the Tobin Bridge, entering into Boston, Massachusetts. And if those rails weren't in the way, we could see the city of Boston, but the bridge rails are in the way. Boston, off of the Tobin Bridge. Bar of Boston coming in. Shaking. Trade Center, next right, Congress Street. This is outside our window in Boston at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. Plus, this. Now it looks like it's a clear day today. Another view from the right. Well, my recollection from before was just, you know, the main business test of all the most interesting ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. It's Carlton where we're staying. The shop's open. They're getting ready to block. <laughs> this is known as the Back Bay area in Boston. This was literally the back five days a year for 38 years. Uh, it's in the science It's like a big globe inside. Oh, you walk across the catwalk. It's the a reflection of the... When that was built, those building. panes of glass were popping out all around the building. My gosh, look how tall that is. That is the longest Picture running the non performing arts play building. in the world. It's also supposed to be very funny. I haven't seen it, but I guess uh, I'll make a little entrance. That clock tower. <laughs> it's the cut. Back in the early part of the century, in the late 19th century, I wonder what. Copps Hill Burial Ground, just south of uh, the Old North Church. The children of Copps were buried here in the 1600s. Gravestone markers. Is that what you're trying to get? 1687 yes. from Mary Ford. Floyd, you would enjoy walking through this place. There's some very old graves in here. A broken stone. And a young lady. 1685. The street leading down to the old North Church, which is Paul Revere's famous church. The old North Church. Get a little shaky walking up the street. Down. The signal lanterns of Paul Revere displayed in the steeple of this church, April 18, 1775, warned the country of the march of the British troops to Lexington and Concord. Paul Revere statue. I'm getting a little backlight in there, but there's a on his horse. Break Paul Revere's house. Another shot of the old North Church via a little park that we're entering. USS Constitution in Boston Harbor. Fun it's a fun ride on. Another interesting ship, the man took it. On the way to Bunker Hill, 
sandwiches off the bar. Well, we finally arrived at Bunker Hill. Up the steps to the top of the Bunker Hill. Battle of Bunker Hill, 1775. Monument. The Battle of Bunker Hill. From the readout, British soldiers on slain. Don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. Prescott, the head of the whole shebang of untrained men that fought on the Battle of Bunker Hill and lost. Holy! Over here on our left is the Vanuel Hall Quincy Market. Vanuel Hall was built up here on the right in front of us, that brick building, that's the old state house built. There were five victims of the Boston Massacre on the first time Declaration of Independence in this building. Christmas Addicts, the very first governor, John Westbrook. Thank you, burial ground, Benjamin Franklin's parents are buried here. The Boston Massacre 4 are buried here. There's no Floyd. Hi, um, Pete, did I hear someone say that the... Market, Market Street, Sunday afternoon. It's still away. Top 10 Cheers, Charles Street, the Santee Grove. It's quite doors in the middle of the State House. House open on two occasions. One building in Boston. Where? All the 60 stores. Hold my hat, Helen, it's blowing off. Next to it on the right is the Prudential Building. That's the second tallest building in Boston. Commons Park, right across from the Ritz Carlton, where we're staying. And uh, George Washington's Monument. Exercising. Frog Pond, headed to the Quincy Mall, and this is what we see on the way. Foxy Church, Margaret is in Tennessee, that's a little. Paul Revere buried in this graveyard. We're going to see. There's the Franklin statue. Hancock's tomb. Samuel Adams. In City Hall. Quincy's Mall. Quincy Market, where a lot of Boston people come and shop. We're just going to enter. Inside, it's an old, old building made into many shops and along this side are restaurants, eating places. In the heart of Quincy's Market. And uh, surrounded by the John Hancock building, the tallest building in the Boston area. And others surrounding it, and coming down here into the marketplace where they're selling balloons, potatoes, carrots, peaches, pumpkins, and horses. Limited building which we went from top floor to bottom. Market Street Place. Market Place Street. Ours outside our hotel. Plus those yellow daffodil deals. 150 some shops along Newbury Street. And there's the New England Mutual Life Building on the right where I did a lot of business 40, 50 years ago. This cathedral, whatever it is, I don't know. Beautiful thing. The John Hancock Tower. Tower. The John Hancock Tower. Train station. The last day in Boston. I think we're getting on board the book. That one. Commuter is going to work. Our choo choo train. Friends 
inside the Choo Choo Tree. Goodbye, Boston. Goodbye, Boston. Grand Hyatt on the morning of Wednesday. An elegant place to be. There's a lady waiting for a pickup. morning and we're at 46th and Lexington. This is the site that we see. A close-up of some of the buildings that we're seeing. St. Paul's Cathedral. St. Paul's Cathedral inside at the altar. Many people here pray, meditate, healing architecture. Stations of prayer. station. We're at the front side of uh, St. Paul's Cathedral where we just entered. And there it is in its full glory. You know Rockefeller Center and the ice skating rink. And the beautiful flowers in the center. Right down the alley. Now the Rockefeller Plaza building. We were just in on the ground floor. Took us about an hour to look for a bathroom. Down Fifth Avenue with Chris Show, Radio City Music Hall, the City Hall. Headed this way, and there is uh, Central Park. You can see the trees of the town below. There's fruits, vegetables, hot dog. A little trolley ride. No, we're not. This what is, is it? This is a horse and buggy ride through Central Park. What do you call it? Uh, the entrance into the park. We're giving the horse a, a, a drink of water right now. Believe this, we're getting into the traffic. She's leading the horse by the hand, and we're waiting for all those taxis to leave. This is the main entrance to the park. But we're not going in it. Row after row of... Uh, horse and buggy. Horse and buggy. Rose. Oh. On the weekends and holidays, they're not allowed at all. A dairy in Central Park. The park is 120.